Oh. Oh. You moron. What if I said there's a new putting training aid that's just been released that could help you from having that happen to you again? Should we take a look? Let's crack on. So here we have it, the Devil Ball by Put Out. So the Devil Ball comes with two Devil Balls, alignment marker as well, always useful, that's gonna help you out. But what's the crack with it? What's it all about? I suppose the devil's in the detail, isn't it? Shall we take a look inside the box? Yeah. So once you remove the outer shell, you open up inside the box and they have it, the two Devil Golf Balls, and also as well the little marker comes with a really, really cool, nice little bag. So you can put everything all into one place, all stored, leave that in your bag. Not a problem there. Looking back onto the box, it's a really classy designed box. A very informative detail on it, which you don't often get. It tells you about the ball shape, how to actually mark the ball up and how to align it. You've got these little scan QR codes as well for some tips and drills and some facts about the putting stats as well. So what's it all about then? Well, put out claim it helps the single most important part of the putting stroke. Face angle, face angle, face angle. Designed with a flat edge impact zone, this exaggerates the face angle delivered at impact for instant, understandable feedback. Making this training aid devilishly difficult to get the ball to roll straight and twice as hard as a regular golf ball. So how hard is it to actually use this putting training aid? Well, put out golf, I've got some stats from Odyssey Golf, which I'll show in the links below. And I'll demonstrate those putts to you as best I can round about now. So the normal golf ball, I put from three foot with a face angle between zero and two degrees, will still go in the hole. Face angle of between two degrees and five degrees brings in the risk of a lip out. And anything that's over five degrees, naturally, you're going to miss it. Whereas with the devil ball, face angle at just one degree open or close, you'll start to struggle to make it. And at over one degrees or between one and one and a half degrees, you'll start to slip out and anything over one and a half degrees, you will miss the hole completely. Now then, for you and I, we don't really look at the angles unless you're on a simulator, on Capto, on Samlab or whatever. But it still makes you think that that smallest level of degrees, you could miss a putt this training aid is there to try and help you not get that problem. And I, for one, have suffered from it badly over the years. I have to give a huge thank you to Graham Cox here down at the Golf Projects, uh, down here at Warrington in Cheshire. Thanks for letting me come and use this facility today. Unbelievable. Folks, if you're in the Cheshire area, Trapman Bay, Zen Green Stage, like we've seen on Sky Sports at the moment, and they're using those quite a lot. Move the greens around. Coaching's available down here. I'll put the links below in the description. Come give them a look, come give them a follow. What a cracking facility down in the Warrington area. I spent a good half hour or so wanting to really put this golf ball through its paces just to see if this drill's any any good. You know, the drills that you've got on the QR codes and different things like that. And I've got to admit, what I got from it was really, really positive. I was proper impressed. The challenge was always to try and get it into that, that hole and hold it there in place, which it will do. Uh, but as you can see from there, didn't always hold everything. It wasn't all perfect. Which is so as you know, it was only really designed for putts from up to three feet. But being a complete sadist, and quite frankly, a bit of a muppet, I thought I'd try it from 15 feet on the Zen Green. Why not? So line the ball up as best I can do with my dodgy eyesight. And little market, can I hold a putt with a devil ball from 15 feet away? And we're not going to quit until we've actually done it. Here we go. Get 
15. Yes. I have no idea where that took me. It took me a few. That's my putt for the open, right there. It can be done. It can be done. But give it a try. You want to only give it a try, will you? So down here at the golf project, right here with the owner of the studio, Mr. Graham Cox, professional golfer, and the crowd goes wild. Good. How are you, sir? Good, good. How are you? Very well, mate. So thank you very much for coming down to the facility. Um, Pleasure. We thought I'd let you have a look at this this new devil ball. Mm -hmm. What's your first thoughts? Yeah, that's. What are your first thoughts about it? I like the alignments on it straight away because yep. I like a line on my ball. Um, so that's great. And it feels a bit more realistic than other things I've used similar. Yeah. So I like it. And it's a good weight. Yep, we see well. the whole purpose of it is it's the same way as a standard golf ball. Yeah. So it's just interesting with the with the flat the flat edges of the actual golf ball. Yeah, up. it's gonna be interesting too. Other thing that, that threw you out when you looked at it first, wasn't it? Did a little bit, yeah. So he's gonna do a couple of ports from the three foot light range and then well, I'm gonna challenge him to see with two balls, can he make it from fifteen feet? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. No pressure. Go. No pressure. So PJ coach, here we go. How does he feel? Well, that would have gone in. Would have gone in right edge. So we've got him at three foot as the as per the uh, the instructions. Ooh. It's not as easy as it looks, is it? Not, not at all. I didn't line that one properly. I'm that. Ah, see, so he didn't line it up properly. He's blaming that one. It's, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? It is very, very difficult. And this is a PGA Pro right here, guys. See, I'm not doing this to embarrass him or anything like that, but this is just a really good test for everybody as to how well they do. And it's instant feedback, I like. Yeah, it's the instant feedback. Yeah. yeah. You know straight away then if you've made a good or a bad pot, haven't you? Perfect. Bang on. So let's pull him back then. Let's pull him back. We'll, we'll take away the, 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 the putt out. Because that's only meant for short distances. So we're on about 20 foot. So I'm 20 foot now. With your putter? With my putter, yeah. So this is excuse now for, for not making the putt because it's my putter. Here we go. Tough putt for him now. Tough putt. It's so weird, isn't it? Granted, this ball is not meant to be from that distance. However, if you're going to hone your skills and you're going to make it, two balls enough for a professional golfer. I mean, it took me about 90 gazillion million that you just said. I'll tell you what, that's a really good roll. But it's, so, it's tough, isn't it? It's such a tough golf ball. So, conclusions. What do I think about it? Well, you know me. I've done reviews in the past and they can be quite brutal. There's no brutality with this one. I genuinely love it, absolutely love it. And if it didn't, trust me, I'd say I didn't. For $24.99, that is a putting aid you're gonna use and use and use. It's not gonna wear out, it's not gonna go knackered on you. It's gonna do exactly what it says on the tin, and you can use it indoors and outdoors from three feet. I think it's brilliant. It's a master stroke, it's a bit of putting genius, why the hell not? And for $24.99, I said, for $24.99, why the hell wouldn't you? Yeah, well done. Nice one put out. You've done an absolute cracker there. And thank you very, very much for allowing a small little YouTuber like me to get my hands on these. Folks, I hope you liked it. Give a click and a subscribe if you, if you like what I'm doing. If you want to see more of it, please leave some comments below and send some love to put out for sending a little YouTuber like me the kit out for doing it. All the best, guys. Take care. See you soon.